figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. so that he can stay on task at all times. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage the door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device.
to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. You aren't done yet. Gotta start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. Someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. You can bet this won't be the last time we sent you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again. You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, Walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Now, go up the ladder at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. 
Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the board to climb up. cheating. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Gunther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target.
Now proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Good fuck. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. This is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the walls are proximity triggered. your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. when you place the lamb. If you aren't close enough, the lamb will fall to the ground and detonate. You'll 
You'll need a few extra lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. The wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall you can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and to defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. Got to start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. You aren't done yet. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. Sir, movement. You blew it. The alarm has closed the north door. Return to the control room to the south and press the button in the oval window to restart the test. This time, don't let the guards see you. Hear that? Stay crouched. Stay behind the crates. And
I know I saw somebody. Sufficiently impressive, an early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are.
appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Mm hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age! Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Paul. I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. I like to pick him off from a distance. I'll take the rifle. This isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. Keep that in mind. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, Iron and Copper. 
you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. God! Careful, these UNATCO guys got God! God! Freight base is under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right? How you guys holding up? UNATCO command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. I can't speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the comm van next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say, 200 for one, and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the Quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as Command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. I'll check back with you later.
careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. <laughs> 